for you to get out and enjoy sausages. <gasps> Uh, sausages? There are sausages in this box! <gasps> we took the wrong box! So where is Mr. Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rio? Mm. Or ocean breeze over Canada? Mm. Oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box, then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. <laughs> I wonder what's in this one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Candles! Oh! No! Fire! Oh! The door's blocked! Too many boxes! I'll need to go upstairs! Oh dear! I've never carried a penguin upstairs before, but I suppose there's a first time for everything! I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Uh, she'll only do those stuffed peppers again. <gasps> oh, no! Ah! Oh, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs? Yes. Yeah. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? The chances are pretty high, Elvis. Sorry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air 100%. It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy! An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Yay! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. Told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my 
my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, man. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? Uh, I didn't finish. <laughs> Off you go. Huh? Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Made it! Yeah! Oh, of course you did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yep. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah! wasn't ready. I'm just testing it. What's wrong? Scaredy can't bounce this high as me. Of course I'm not, but... Come on then, Mandy. Prove it. All right. I will. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 I sing my songs till I think I'll burst, but I never forget that I'm a fireman first. I love to rock and I love to swing But the thing I love best is when the fire bell ring A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, -a -ling, just one more verse Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first <laughs> I am the biggest bouncer! The biggest show-off, more like it! No! I better call Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sing? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that. Get off! <laughs> Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. <laughs> Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, Elvis. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! What? <laughs> what do I give to be back in my helicopter? The wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, 
isn't there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. <laughs> I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Yes! You beauties! You found me! There you go, Tom! Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be out there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> Our dad is the best. He's the coolest dad ever. All those who agree, sound your horns. <laughs> everyone. Gather in close. I don't know what Sam was talking about. We're easy to photograph. Cheese! Are we ready? Fireman Sam standing by, sir. Firefighter Phillips standing by. Firefighter McKinley standing by. Firefighter War standing by. Wallaby One standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Scrum Master 2000. Ta-da! That's place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear! Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Dad, you need to stop! Someone needs to call! Fireman Sam! Oh. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury! <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it through his solo. Everyone, move back. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety.
all out, Sam. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. the show, not you. But James hasn't turned up. Ta-da! Ah, oh, oh, stupid flippers. Ah, ah, oh. <laughs> My water lilies. My heron. My scenery. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. On away, Sam. Fireman Sam, I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him, and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh, no! What have I done? 
Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loading up. Right, James, stand back. No, Uncle Sam. Hey, I've got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We there, Sam. Elvis. Okay, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. <laughs> That's it. I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. <gasps> Don't listen to him, Pengy. Come on, we'll show them. No! That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you're a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. Oh, my floodlights! I'd better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink. Oh, with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Ow! Everyone, get back. Stand back. I think we're okay. The ice is melting. Uh, uh, the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. I'll get Norman. Power's off, Sam. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Look what you've done. Fireman Sam can't reach me. Uh... Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pengy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, Norman, you can do it! <laughs> oh, no! Fireworks! There's a fire! Ah! Oh. Oh. Stay in the tent where they keep the fireworks! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks? Those things could go up like a rocket! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks! We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, I know. Ooh. Penny, you 
I'll keep the fireworks boxes hosed down. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Looks like this tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks okay? Well, these ones are a bit soggy. But I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go get the one from last year? Well, that's it. Better close up for the night. <gasps> Norman Price! Those coconuts were glued down? <gasps> no wonder poor Trevor couldn't knock them off! Trevor, look at your big muscles. <laughs> oh, well, that's over for another year, Sam. It was less trouble than last time. It's not huh? fair. Sarah's pizza's bigger than mine. <laughs> my head's stuck. <gasps> Just dropped the hammer on my foot, eh? <laughs> keep walking, Penny. Just keep walking. Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Oh. oh, what's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steele working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing body wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way, and the old mines go into the mountain this way and they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Whoa! Sarah, that 
That's amazing! That's amazing! Oh. Thanks! I made it! So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? <gasps> my house! My bath! Oh, this is so nice and peaceful. Stop! We have to call Fireman Sam! Beep, beep, beep! Beep, beep, beep! Scanning area! Kitchen is clear! Fire Captain Steele has finally given up on the candy apples! Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah! There is a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. There's a fire at the children's party at the Home Fish Cafe. and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter Sam, air 100. Ready, Elvis? Ready, Sam. One at a time. Take my hand and stay low. <coughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> oh. 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 What's that? <gasps> That's Norman and Derek. Oh, dear. Sam, help. We can't get back. Grab hold of the end! Thanks, Fireman Sam. Thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Uh, you see? The thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we don't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. Mm, no broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you really warmed up before you started. Well, uh... And built up slowly. Oh! oh. <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on. Where do you think you all are going? There is no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, yes, us. <laughs> I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon.
Uh, where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. Okay, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you boys hadn't lost those floppy shovels. Sorry, Fireman Sam. In this hot weather, it's vital to be able to put out small fires quickly before they spread. I should never have left them alone with that cooking stove. That's true, Trevor. Ah, nothing like getting away from the office and putting out a good fire. Don't you agree, sir? Absolutely. Are you okay, sir? You sound out of breath, old chap. <laughs> if you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be 